Hello friends, today I wanna to give you a bit of an update on the Chaptered app that I released a couple of weeks ago for the purpose of making markers from Premiere Pro or Adobe Audition into chapter markers for YouTube and basically get that formatting automatically from those markers. Now, I released this version right here. Let's make this this way. So this was basically what was released a couple of weeks ago. It was kind of jarring to look at. And one thing that was particularly annoying for me is that it was not able, or this website was not able to actually store the, basically the settings that I chose for later use. For me personally, that is especially interesting because for example, the line template that you can see right here, uh, is something that I always change because usually for YouTube, I only need the time in as well as the title. And in terms of the time stamp, I also usually use the minimal factor, which only has the minutes and seconds with their uh, prepend zeros if, there are, uh, if they are necessary. But the website basically wasn't saving those settings. And that became rather annoying to me because I was continually using Chapter to do those kind of things. Now, if you don't know about this app yet and you wanna learn more about it, I also have this video right here, which I will have linked in the description below, where I basically go through the process of why I even came up with this, how you can use this together with Premiere Pro, for example, here to set those chapter markers, then export them, and basically from that, create those markers for YouTube. Now, right here in this video, I wanna show you the new version, which has a dark theme, as you can see right here, and it now also features a couple of other nice things. Now, first things first, if you look at this website, you can see that it has that darker theme that I am now using. I am also transitioning toward Vue.js, which is a basically a front-end application framework so that I can make certain things easier for myself in the developing process and also maybe extendable in the coming months. Then also what you might notice is that now these things here, the selection boxes aren't grayed out as they were right here, which was kind of weird. I don't know exactly what happened there, but now they are all looking equally uh, or equal to the same. And looking further down, you might also notice that the font here changed in the text area. Now this is a monospaced font, which makes it a little easier to see when things are aligned as they are with the time markers usually. And I also changed that now it's not wrapping around the line breaks or it does not include any line breaks and just makes the line just on one line, which makes it a lot easier to kind of like give an overview here and see what's going on. But the most important change is that these settings that you choose up here, however you want your markers to be displayed, are now stored in your browser. So when you come back to this website, they are actually the same as you left them last time. So for example, let's say you prefer the title in the front and then you have the time marker in brackets at the end of whatever you have with your markers. So as you can see, this now automatically updated based on this change here. And now if I reopen this website or reload this website, you can see that the same time or the same line template is actually being used for this set. And this is because the settings are stored in your browser, as I've mentioned before. Now I'm gonna bring this back to my default, which I always use for my YouTube markers. Now there are all kinds of settings that you have here available on the screen. You can sort by the time code or the marker type. You can also make sections based on the marker type or none at all. So for example, if I do this, then you can see all of the markers are just in one giant list. And if you want, of course, there's still the possibility to include the marker type by doing this and writing type in these curly brackets so that the marker type is actually displayed there as well. And I'm gonna probably add a kind of like a, um, a legend there so that you can know what type of uh, replaceable variables are available there, but that has not been done yet. Uh, then, of course, I personally prefer the section markers because for me, those are different types of markers that I use for different purposes. So, for example, for my taste, I prefer to use these chapter markers here as kind of like the B-roll footage. 
And then down here, the comment markers are the ones that are being used for YouTube and the time markers there. Now, the next thing that I also wanna maybe give a little bit of more insight into is the time template up here. And if you open this up now, you have a couple of interesting sections here. Now, the first thing is the full timestamp. Now, this basically means that no matter what kind of times you have, it will display the full timestamp with hours, minutes, and seconds, and also include leading or yeah, leading zeros if they are necessary. For example, like uh, when you have a number that is 06, it will always show 06. You can also include the milliseconds or frames if you have those available and it depends on the application or the marker type that you import. With Audition, it's milliseconds. With Premiere Pro, for example, it's the frames. And with that, it also depends whether or not this shows at dot zero zero one for milliseconds, for example, or uh, colon and then zero four for the frames. So that's something that you can do here with the without frames or with frames. And now what you can do here with the time template, you can choose different layouts for the time that you want to be displayed. Now, when you choose the full timestamp, as usual, it includes the full timestamp. If you choose this here, the hours optional leading zero, then nothing changes here. However, if you do go in, for example, and you don't have any timestamp that is an hour or more, then the hours are removed. So basically this first one here only includes hours if there is at least one hour marker present. Now, the next thing that you have is minimal, and that basically makes it all as small as possible. So in this case, it removes the leading zeros and also only shows the hours if they are present in that timestamp. If we include the leading hours, then we don't have any leading zeros, but we do have the leading hours if, they are, uh, if there are any hours there at all. Then we have minimal, which basically is not including the hours and it only shows the hour if you do have one hour in that specific line. So it does not include the hours in the others above. And then we also have leading hours and leading zeros like so, and that includes all of that. And we have the hours op optional and leading zeros not on the hours. Now this last one is slightly different from this at the top right here, because as you can see, it does not include the hours at the beginning and it only includes the hour when it is actually present. This one here includes it whenever. So even if, for example, you don't have any time stamp that has those hours, then it still shows the hours and will include those. And that's the difference to the top one right here, which does not include the hours and it only shows it in this layout that YouTube prefers. But as soon as you do have one that includes an hour, and I'm just adding those numbers back in, and by doing so, you have a layout that is top to bottom, exactly the same timestamp, and this is something that also works on YouTube. Now that's my little update to Chaptered. If you wanna check it out, I will leave a link down in the description below. You can use this completely for free, of course. It's just available at chaptered.com. App. Now, if you do start to use it and you find it useful, I would love to hear from you in the comment section down below or maybe also as a email. I'm always looking for feedback if you want to have anything changed or adjusted or you have ideas for additional features to this application. I would love to hear from you. And of course, if you found this video interesting or helpful, I would appreciate a thumbs up. That always helps out a lot. Now, with all that said, I hope you have an amazing day. Make your chapter a little easier to manage with chaptered.app and I will see you in the next video. Ciao, ciao.